so I gotta make water and grow food on a planet where nothing grows. This is Hollywood's latest vision of what living on Mars for humans could be like. Without spoiling the plot, things don't start very well for Matt Damon's character on the Red Planet. Mark Watney is still alive. Back on Earth, NASA want to turn Hollywood fantasies into scientific realities. The American Space Agency of today announced that humans on Mars could be closer than ever. If man on the moon was one giant leap for mankind, what could this latest adventure mean? NASA planned for human colonies on Mars by the 2030s. They'll get there by breaking up this mission into three parts. The Earth Reliant phase will mean lots of tests to see if humans can survive for several years in space. The Proving Ground will see complex scientific experiments in different space environments. And finally, the Earth Independent phase, which will see humans living and working on Mars. Only last week, NASA revealed these images and announced that water had been found on the planet. Scientists have hailed the discovery as hugely significant. Already, NASA are ploughing resources into technology and training to get astronauts there. But do we really need to go to Mars? It's about answering that ultimate question about whether we're alone or not in the universe. I mean, humans were built to go over the hill, they were built to explore, we've explored the Earth. We haven't yet explored the solar system, so it's our next step and it's about understanding more about how life came to be. Is there life outside of our own planet? What form would it be in? NASA are also in a race, as they're not the only ones who want to get to the Red Planet. The Mars One mission, who are based in the Netherlands, are hoping to land the first humans on Mars by 2027. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.